high on the scrub and you're here for one reason. We're here on behalf of the Astros of Ishgard who are panicking about more dragons. We've already saved Stone Vigil twice. I guess another dragon covered dungeon can be added to the list of Ishgard IOUs. Well, time to find out if Dragon Daddy is alive. Time to learn about Keeper of the Lake. Simplified. Pull and kill the three crabs. A bridge will be created for you. Kill the next three mobs followed by the pack of four at the end of the corridor. If you're not using the duty support system, you can attempt to pull both packs and kill everything. After everything is dead, another bridge will appear. Head forward and kill the two goblins and the toad. First boss time. Aero Blast is a room-wide AoE. Resounding Screech will have the boss call some friends down into the fight. They will drop six gas cylinders in a hexagon-like pattern. The boss will then move to one side of the arena and cast a straight line AoE through the middle. This will give you a Voln stack if you get hit by it. The AoE will hit two of the cylinders, causing them to ignite and burst in medium-sized AoEs. This will then cause the other the four cylinders to ignite and burst themselves. To avoid this, we are going to stand to the side of the arena close to where one of the first two cylinders will explode and then move into them when they go off. For every exploding cylinder you get hit by, you will get a Voln stack. This is followed by a tank buster, then the boss will call more friends down. This time there are five cylinders. The boss will do a proximity attack in the middle of the arena and cause all of the cylinders to ignite at the same time. Just stand in the safe spot where there is no cylinder and you will be fine. The boss will repeat mechanics until it's been defeated. Head through to the next area and kill the three enemies. The last enemy will drop an Imperial Identification Key. Interact with the key to pick it up. Then interact with the Magitech Terminal to drop the barrier. Head up the stairs to the next platform, grab the enemies and destroy the Magitech Field Inductor to release the Colossus. Avoid the the AoEs as some can hit really hard and also have huge knockbacks. Kill everything. Head over onto the next platform and repeat the same as the previous platform. The final enemy killed will drop an identification key. Pick this up and interact with the terminal. Second boss time. Flamethrower is a huge 120 degree conal AoE directed at the tank. This will last for a few seconds, so make sure you stay out of it until the fire is dissipated. If the boss breaks away from the tank and moves to one side of the arena, it will create large fire puddles as it moves across. These will give you a burn debuff as long as you're standing in them, but they do disappear rather quickly. Just stay to the side of the arena relative to the boss to dodge the circles. Carpet Bomb randomly targets party members with a small AoE below their position. It is easily avoidable. When the boss's health gets below 70% and 30%, it will spawn more enemies into the fight. They are a bit of a nuisance, but they are easily defeatable. The boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Head through to the next area. If you're doing this with a duty support system, I would recommend single pulling as the next few pulls can get a bit spicy. Pull and kill everything while watching out for the AoEs that target you from the airship above. After everything has been killed, the airship will blow part of the wall away. Pull and kill everything. Wait for the airship to blow more of the wall away. Head across the bridge and it's final boss time. The boss is fixed to one point on the wall and will not move from this position. Every avoidable AoE that you get hit by in this fight will give you a Voln stack. Admonishment is a straight line AoE through the middle of the arena. Just move to the side to dodge it. Inner turmoil is a point blank AoE from the boss's position. Outer turmoil is a donut AoE, so get Get close to the boss to dodge it. Phantom Kin spawns two untargetable dragons, one on either edge of the arena. They will fire straight line AoEs from their position. The boss will then cast a phantom version of either Admonishment, Inner Turmoil, or Outer Turmoil. This will cause both the straight line AoEs from the dragons on the side and whatever the boss casts along with it to go off at the same time. So make sure you watch out for the extra AoEs. Disgust is a simple room-wide AoE. After this, the boss will become untargetable, call two adds into the fight, and you will see another bar that will start filling up rather quickly. You will need to defeat the two adds before this bar fills up. If you fail to do this in time, the boss will hit you with his ultimate for 10 million damage. Antipathy is an expanding circular AoE of fire that explodes periodically. To avoid this, just stand outside the middle circle and wait for the cast bar to finish. This is when the middle circle will burst and start to disappear. You can move into the middle circle at this point and you'll be completely fine. After the ads are being defeated, the boss will become targetable again and cast Animad version, which is its ultimate. The boss will then cast Arc Morn and create this pulsating multiple stack marker. This will cause multiple hits that the party will need to stay stacked up for. Then it's another Phantom Kin, followed by Antipathy, then a tank buster. And from here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it's been defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Keeper of the Lake. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.